as soon as next week. Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, America's food, wine, restaurant, travel show. We're talking uh, Michael Horn and Paul Stern with uh, Steve Andrews and Sally James uh, with the, uh, two of the hosts of Slow Living Radio, which is heard Tuesday nights now at 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 Eastern on CRN, live and direct from the V Wine Cellar in the heart of the Napa Valley in the Yonville area, right between the Villaggio Hotel and the Vintage Inn Hotel. And we have gotten away. I mean, I'm, you know, you talk to people, sometimes you get knee-jerk reactions. You say, oh, it's hot in here, and somebody starts blowing air on you right away. You say, oh, it's cold in here, and they're throwing blankets on you. Instead of someone just saying, hey, you know, it's warm in here, and you react to it and say, yeah, it is. You know, I wonder, it must be warm days. Maybe we could turn the air conditioning on. People knee-jerk react these days, just uh, don't think about things. Everybody is in a fast, fast living mode. And slow living radio helps you to take a breath, swallow, breathe in, and talk about things. And now tomorrow night on the show, Sally, you said we're going to be taking a trip to Tasmania. We got to cut off there by, once again, the fast pace of a uh, of a hard break in, the, in radio, in the radio parlance. So uh, we're going to <laughs> visit Tasmania with whom? Tell us who's on the show about honey. It is going to be Julian Wolfhagen, who um, started a company called the Tasmanian Honey Company, which makes the most beautiful leatherwood, um, meadow, lavender, manica honey, um, just some beautiful honeys that you actually can get in the USA. But he's just been on a two-week holiday in Bulgaria, trekking through the hills with shepherds and eating yogurt, you know, on lamb, you know, roasted at the outside. I mean, this man knows how to embrace life. And actually, the leatherwood tree in Tasmania has been given... Um, an ARC, um, there's an ARC award that the Slow Food Movement do give it to um, to foods that have a native terroir and a, a really valuable um, tools. And so, you know, it's really, he's got a great story to tell us, right, about, you know, his story in Tasmania. And, you know, Tasmania is just a wonderfully slow, beautiful island. We'll have to get you down there sometime, Michael and Paul. I can't wait. And, uh, you know, and, and Steve, you and being in the travel industry for so many years and, uh, and doing the work you do, uh, you, you work with the Villaggio Hotel and the Vintage Inn. We should mention that, uh, which is right there in the heart of Yonville. They're one of the sponsors of the show. And when you go to a beautiful place like Napa, there's a tendency, even when you vacation, that you got to have a breakfast here, you got to have a lunch there, you got to go to five wineries here, you're doing a dinner here, you got to meet this person here for a nightcap. And then by the time you leave, your properties are so beautiful. The uh, Villaggio Hotel, it's like being in the Italian countryside. The Vintage Inn, like being in the French countryside. I, one of the points I think we should make is when you travel somewhere, you should take a day just to appreciate where you're staying at the hotel itself with the amenities, correct? Absolutely. And I think that, that people have, have a tendency, myself included, of not doing that. We want to get out and experience everything around it. And while there's a great, uh, there's a lot to be said for that in Napa Valley, you don't want to lose sight of that because there is a lot to be seen and tasted for that matter. Uh, you have uh, beautiful places to stay, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm rather biased to Villaggio and Spa and Vintage Inn right in Yonville, where uh, you get up every morning, you have an amazing breakfast, uh, champagne breakfast buffet, you uh, stroll out to the spa, enjoy a little time there, and then, you know, just about when you're ready, you can venture out and do a bit of wine tasting. That's the kind of thing you should try and incorporate as much as you can, not, not only in Yonville, but in everyday life and every vacation that you take, because the more you do it, it's like anything else. The habit. You repeat the behavior, and you you say, "Hey, you know what? This is pretty good. I think I like this." You know, I like uh, to do more you, of it. You know, Steve. If I could go ahead and mention it myself, uh, just during the time that both Mike and I were there over the weekend, I happened to take notice of a, a couple of slow living things in my own mind that I. I definitely took note of uh, the complimentary chair massages that were taking place at what you call a uh, spa after dark, and then also the the following evening there yeah. was a complimentary, and again I say totally free of charge. Uh, a uh, paradigm wine tasting, and that is one of the uh, the finest wines in all of Napa Valley. They're Merlots. Absolutely, and and again, again those are the kind yeah. of experiences that, as a hotel, what we try and do is drive more of that back into our our product and service, so that people have a reason to just kind of take a little bit of a breath out. You know, well, yeah, but here, the here's the deal, we gentlemen. Have right there, gentlemen and lady. Here's the deal. There were these complimentary uh, chair massages, as you mentioned, Paul Stern. Yet. We had to go visit a friend, so of course we missed this whole experience. And this is what slowed you, it down you a touch. Gotta slow it down a little bit and say, "Hey, friends, we love you. We'll be there by uh, you know our customary three hours late. We're going into a chairman's side." Now, how do you do this seriously, Sally James? 
in this day and age when you want to relax, how do you live slowly without being late everywhere? Because you want to experience life. How do you do it? Well, you know, I've got to say, it is, uh, it is a lot harder in the USA than where I'm from in Australia. I mean, we, we are a little more laid back, and, you know, we do have more of a, a laissez-faire. I said, you know, we'll be right, mate. Just, you know, just breathe out. We'll get there in good time, and, and people are a little more relaxed about that. And there is a bit of a guilt thing in, in this country about, you know, oh, my gosh, you can't, you know, you can't slow down. You've got to be here right now. And, you know, the cell phones are going off, and people get upset if you don't answer them. And it is harder in this country, but I think the more people, you know, really make a point and say, okay, relax, don't worry, you know, Sally, the, the world isn't going to end. Sally, you've done it. Can I call you at any time just to talk to you? Because you have a tendency just to kind of relax us down, you and Steve, but especially <laughs> you, Sally. Yeah, that's going to be Tuesday nights. Check it out, Tuesday, 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 Eastern, Slow Living Radio with the beautiful Sally James, the handsome Steve Andrews on CRN. Thanks for being with us. Are you struggling with too much credit card debt?